So, if you clicked on this video, you're probably interested in becoming shredded or have thought about it. Well, secretly, most people want to have a lean physique, and this isn't a problem at all. We just have to be aware of the potential side effects of it. Sadly, there's also a very dark side to extreme fat loss and being shredded. And in this video, I will talk about these side effects, explain you why they occur, and tell you how you can prevent them from happening to you. I am someone who went through a pretty harsh dieting phase myself this year and definitely also got a taste of the side effects. Therefore, I don't think there's anyone else better than me to talk about the negatives because I lived through them this year. Alright, let's get into it. I will start off by explaining you what actually happens when we go into a fat loss phase. When we are dieting, the goal is to consume less calories than we burn. We can do this by eating less calories or doing more cardio. The result will be the same. Then, let's say you consume 2000 calories a day but burn 2500 and this will bring you into a 500 calorie deficit. This is great and I would say it's a healthy dieting approach. But for extreme fat loss phases, some people might only consume 1500 calories and this brings them into a 1000 calorie deficit. When we only consume 1500 calories a day, we can't get enough nutrients in our system. Then also a very common strategy for extreme fat loss is to just cut out all the fats from our diet. But this again has multiple bad side effects. When we don't eat enough fats, our body won't be able to produce hormones properly. And one of the most important hormones for muscle growth and general health is testosterone. And this will also decrease rapidly, leading to us feeling unmotivated, anxious and weak. And we will not only feel weak, we actually will get weaker in the gym. Because for our body it's very difficult to get all the energy from our fat storage when we're in a calorie deficit of a thousand calories. Therefore, it will also take the energy which is stored in our muscles. You will get shredded with a deficit like that, but also lose a ton of muscle mass. And then for anyone who is trying to get shredded to look better in the bedroom, well, you might will look better, but eventually the stuff down there will stop working as well. A very common trigger for erectile dysfunction is low testosterone. And one way to get low testosterone is by following an extreme fat loss diet. But it doesn't stop there. We also can't forget about how we will feel when we are constantly in a calorie deficit. People who are dieting very hard aren't comfortable to be around. They are easily triggered and get angry at everything, which is totally understandable. Because if you can only eat very little food, you don't have the energy to deal with stuff. So these are all the negative sides of being shredded and extreme fat loss. But we also can't forget about the upsides of having a lean physique. It's definitely very rewarding hearing everybody say how great you look and always seeing a new vein popping out of your arm when you look in the mirror. And the good news is that we don't have to follow an extreme fat loss diet to get to this level. A slower approach is much healthier and better for us. I have to say, this year I was dieting a bit too much and I never want to do it again and I hope no one tries this as well. Therefore, I will tell you how I will do it next year to still get lean but not having to experience the dark side of it. Well, I will definitely start implementing more cardio. I know, cardio doesn't directly melt off body fat, but it burns calories and this allows me to eat more food. I will do that mainly because I don't like restricting myself too much with the foods that I eat and it's much easier to get in my fats, minerals and vitamins when I have more calories that I can play around with. Then also much slower approach. I will start off my dieting phase with only a small calorie deficit and then adjust it over time. At the beginning of a dieting phase, we will only have to consume a few calories less to lose body fat. Then, after a few months, we will hit a plateau, but still can go lower after that. And not jump right away into 8 or 900 calorie deficit. This will only lead to side effects and us burning out. So the slow approach is not only more enjoyable, also more sustainable. In fact, dieting should never be hard. Because if we struggle to stick to our diet, we eventually will binge eat and regain all the body fat. 
Getting shredded isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. So I hope this was helpful. If yes, please like and subscribe and then see you in the next one.